Welcome to 50 Feet Below, where we give you some straight up scuba advice. This is Q&A Monday, and my name is Arjan. And today we're gonna talk about why do technical divers use helium? Well, the answer is surprisingly simple. Technical divers want to avoid using too much nitrogen and oxygen. First of all, nitrogen induces narcosis at greater depth and also makes for longer decompression stops. Oxygen is no better because it gets toxic at greater depths. To reduce the downside of those two gases, technical divers replace them for a large part with helium. First of all, the benefit is that there is no narcotic effect at greater depth. Secondly, the helium reduces the amount of decompression time technical divers have to go through. And the last small benefit is helium isn't as dense as air, so it's easier to breathe at greater depth. So I hear you think, why are we not all diving with helium? There are actually a few downsides to it. First of all, you need a big wallet to dive with helium. A typical Trimax gas, so Trimax is helium into a gas with air and nitrogen. Um, a 12 liter tank will set you back around $20. Next to that, helium is also causing more bubbles. So if you are in an unlikely event of an uncontrolled ascent, you are more likely to get decompression sickness from helium than from a normal gas. If you don't know what decompression sickness is, we have a full explanation right here. The last disadvantage is that helium is a great warmth conductor. So if you put helium gas into your dry suit, you will lose warmth really quickly. And that's why you almost always see technical divers with a separate bottle of argon, which they use to fill up their dry suit. Thank you for watching. If you have a question of your own, Leave them in the comments below and we'll be happy to answer them.